I'm having a really interesting time participating in the Virtue Advisory meeting and then now Orgcon as part of really exploring what ethics means in technology development. For me, it's been an issue that's a passion really for the last 25 years. I left journalism to go into a study of how uh, technology is political and how it changes the way that we live. And this is, I wouldn't say I was necessarily committed to the idea of ethics um, in discussing this. I might be more committed to the idea of how design and politics interrelate. But ethics are obviously part of how we decide what good should be or what, you know, what is desirable in how we live. And for me, I think it was very important that the advisory um, group were able to talk about care ethics as well as virtue ethics because that seems to me a more, a more sound footing in the sense that it talks about the, the communal, the collective, the way the world is before we start acting in it or the way that we act in it together rather than necessarily seeing ourselves as the individual agent of our fate. It's, it's pretty challenging to come in and just in one day try to sort of like, I mean, I've had been at meetings before, but there's so much activity and there's so many different partners, so it's pretty hard to, uh, to come and sort of understand everything that's going on in a short period of time. I think one of the things that seemed really interesting to me is that the context for the project has changed a lot since the project was originally conceived. Um, so at the time that the project was conceived there was much less conversation about values and ethics in, um, in IT um, and a lot more conversation than there is now about IoT. Um, I think some of the IoT rhetoric has sort of died out a little bit but somehow has been replaced by a lot of interest in, ver in values and ethics at the in sort of the public conversation. And so, so much of what was of interest for me yesterday was trying to think through um, how the project and how the project teams should respond to the changing context in which they find themselves um, and how it is that you might reframe the work that they've been doing for uh, for sort of maximal impact both in the sort of in, in IT research in the IT industry and in the sort of public conversation more broadly. There's so many interesting directions this research is going to go. I think understanding how we look at the community of developers building the next generation of tools that are going to be used by all of us that are going to be embedded into our everyday domestic lives. I think understanding that community is really important and that's what this research has done. For me, I think what's interesting is I'm kind of the token lawyer, I think. Um, so it's very interesting to be in an environment where you can reflect on the role of ethics and the various types of ethics as governance modalities and also um, how this interacts with the kind of legal levers that I'm more familiar with, like data protection and impact assessments. Going beyond just how to not do no wrong, do no harm, to really build in the virtue uh, notion of care and notion of capability into a new vision for how technology ethics should look. Mm -hmm.